Previously, we looked at how we can use UI View Controller Representable to wrap a UI Kit View Controller so it can be used inside Swift UI. In particular, focusing on UI Image Picker Controller. However, we hit a problem. Although we could show the image picker, we didn't get notified when the user chose an image. Swift UI's solution for this is called Coordinators, which is a bit confusing for folks coming from a UI Kit background because there we had a design pattern also called Coordinators that performed an entirely different role. To be clear, SwiftUI's coordinators are nothing like the coordinator pattern many developers use with UIKit. So, if you've used that pattern previously, please eject it from your brain to avoid confusion. SwiftUI's coordinators are designed to act as delegates for UIKit view controllers. Remember, delegates are objects that respond to events that occur elsewhere. For example, UIKit lets us attach a delegate object to its text field view. And that delegate will be notified when the user types anything when they press return, and so on. This meant that UIKit developers could modify the way their text field behaved without having to create a custom text field type of their own. Using coordinators in Swift UI requires you to learn a little bit about the way UIKit works, which is no surprise given that we're literally integrating UIKit's view controllers. So, to demonstrate this, we're going to upgrade our image picker view so we can report back when images are chosen. As a reminder, here's the code we have right now. We're going to take this whole thing step by step, because there's a lot to take in. Don't feel bad if it takes you some time to understand, because coordinators really aren't easy the first time you meet them. First, add this nested class inside the image picker struct. Class coordinator. Yes, it needs to be a class, as you'll see in a moment. It doesn't need to be a nested class, though. Although it is a good idea, because it neatly encapsulates the functionality. Without a nested class, it'd be confusing if you had lots of view controllers and coordinators all mixed up. Even though that class is inside a UI view controller representable struct, SwiftUI won't automatically use it for the views coordinator. Instead, we have to add a new method called makeCoordinator, which SwiftUI will automatically call when we implement it. All this has to do is create and configure an instance of our coordinator class, then send it back. Right now, our coordinator class doesn't do anything special. So we can just send one back by adding this method to the image picker struct. Func make coordinator returns coordinator coordinator. What we've done so far is create an image picker struct that knows how to create a UI image picker controller. And now we just told image picker that it should have a coordinator to handle communication from that UI image picker controller. The next step is to tell the UI image picker controller that when something happens, it should tell our coordinator. This takes just one line of code in make UI view controller. So add this directly before the return picker line. Picker.delegate equals context.coordinator. That code won't compile. But before we fix it, I want to spend just a moment digging into what just happened. We don't call make coordinator ourselves. Swift UI calls it automatically when an instance of image picker is created. Even better, SwiftUI automatically associated the coordinator it created with our image picker struct, which means when it calls make UI view controller and update UI view controller, it'll automatically pass a coordinator object to us. So, the line of code we just wrote tells Swift to use the coordinator that just got made as the delegate for the UI image picker controller. This means anytime something happens inside the image picker controller, i.e., when the user selects an image, it'll report that action to our coordinator. The reason our code doesn't compile is that Swift is checking that our coordinator class is capable of acting as a delegate for UI image picker controller, finding that it isn't, and so is refusing to build our code any further. To fix this, we have to modify our coordinator class to this. Colon NS object, UI image picker controller delegate, UI navigation controller delegate. That does three things. First, it makes a class inherit from NSObject, which is the parent class for almost everything in UIKit. NSObject allows Objective-C to ask the object what functionality it supports at runtime, which means the image picker can say things like, hey, the user chose an image, what do you want to do? Second, it makes a class conform to the UI image picker controller delegate protocol, which is what adds functionality for detecting when the user selects an image. To be clear, NS object lets Objective-C check for the functionality. This protocol is what actually provides it. And third, it makes a class conform to the protocol called UI Navigation Controller Delegate, 
which lets us detect when the user moves between screens in the image picker. Now you can see why we had to use a class for coordinator. It must inherit from NS object so Objective-C can query our coordinator to see what functionality it supports. At this point, we have an image picker struct that wraps a UI image picker controller. And we've configured that image picker controller to talk to our coordinator class when something interesting happens. The UI image picker controller delegate protocol defines two optional methods we can implement. One for when the user selected an image and one for when they pressed cancel. If we don't implement the cancel method, UIKit will automatically just dismiss the image picker controller. So we can just forget about that. But the image selected method matters. We have to catch that and do something with that image. The question is, what should we do with it? If we put UIKit to one side for a second and think in pure functionality, what we want is for our image picker to report back that image to whatever used the picker in the first place. We're presenting image picker inside a sheet in our content view struct. So we want that to be given whatever image was chosen. Then dismiss the sheet. What we need here is SwiftUI's at binding property wrapper, which allows us to create a binding from image picker up to whatever created it. This means we can set the binding value in our image picker and have it actually update a value being stored somewhere else, in content view, for example. So add this property to image picker. Add binding var image optional UI image. While you're there, we also want to dismiss this view when an image is chosen. Right now, we aren't handling image selection at all, so we get UIKit's default dismissing behavior. But as soon as we inject some custom functionality, we have to handle dismissal by hand. So add the second property to image picker so we can dismiss the view programmatically. At environment, presentation mode, var presentation mode. Now we just added those properties to image picker, but we need them inside our coordinator class because that's the one that'll be informed when an image was selected. Rather than just pass the same data down one level, a better idea is to tell the coordinator what its parent is, so it can modify values there directly. That means adding an image picker property and initializer to the coordinator class, like this. var parent, image picker, init, underscore parent, image picker, self.parent equals parent. And now it could modify and make coordinator so that it passes the image picker struct into the coordinator, like this. Coordinator self. At long last, we're ready to actually read the response from our UI image picker controller, which is done by adding a method with a very specific name. UIKit will look for this method in our coordinator class because it's the delegate of the image picker. And if the method's found, it'll be called. The method name is long and needs to be exactly right in order for UIKit to find it. But helpfully, Xco can help us out with autocomplete. So go inside the coordinator class and start typing this. Did finish picking. Xcode's code completion should offer exactly one method. And if you select it, you'll get this code. That method receives a dictionary where the keys are of the type UI image picker controller.info key. And the values are of the type any. It's our job to dig through that to find the image that was chosen assign it to our parent, then dismiss the image picker. So replace the code placeholder with this. If let UI image equals info dot original image as UI image parent dot image equals UI image. And then parent dot presentation mode dot wrap value dot dismiss. Notice how we need the typecast for UI image. That's because the dictionary we're provided holds all sorts of data types, so we have to be careful. At this point, I bet you're really missing the beautiful simplicity of SwiftUI. So you'll be glad to know we're finally done with the image picker struct. It does everything we need now. So at last we can return to contentview.swift. To integrate our image picker view into that, we have to start by adding another at state image property that can be passed into the picker. At state, private var, input image, optional UI image. Next, we have to add a method that we can call when that property changes. Remember, we can't use a plain property observer here because Swift will ignore it. So instead, we'll write a method that checks whether input image has a value. And if it does, uses it to assign a new image view to the image property. Add this method to content view now. Func load image, guard let input image 
equals input image, else return. Image equals image, UI image, input image. Finally, we need to change our sheet modifier in two ways. First, we have to pass the input image property into our image picker, so it'll be updated when the image is selected. And second, we have to call our new load image method when the sheet is dismissed. That first task is as simple as changing the contents of the sheet to this. Image, self dot, dollar, input image. The second task requires you to learn something new. An extra on dismiss parameter we can pass to the sheet modifier, which lets us specify a function to run when the sheet's dismissed. We want to call load image, so we should update the sheet modifier to this. On dismiss, load image. And we're done. Go ahead and run the app and try it out. You should be able to tap the button, browse through your photo library, and select the picture. When that happens, the image picker view should disappear, and your selected image will be shown below. I realize at this point you're probably sick of UIKit and coordinators, but before we move on, I want to sum up the complete process. First, we created a Swift UI view that conforms to the UI view controller representable. Second, we gave it a make UI view controller method that created some sort of UI view controller, which in our example was a UI image picker controller. Third, we added a nested coordinator class to act as a bridge between the UI kit view controller and our Swift UI view. Fourth, we gave that coordinator a did finish picking media with info method, which would be triggered by UI kit when an image was chosen. And fifth, we gave our image picker an at binding property so it can send changes back to a parent view. For what it's worth, after you've used coordinators once, the second and subsequent times are easier. But I wouldn't blame you if you found the whole system quite baffling for now. Don't worry too much. We'll be coming back to this again soon and then more in later projects. You'll have more than enough chance to practice.